thousand solvents. <laughs> One of the most exciting things about this gig is this motherfucker. Yeah, we've made it now. Oh yeah. That's all. We're, and also the massive pirate flag waving at the back. Let's not forget that. This is basically our dream. <laughs> this is actually like a dream I had the other night. Wait, you guys are all gonna get naked. Shit. <laughs> uh, not for that, yeah, it's alcohol. <laughs> so uh, the next song is not a song, it's a poem, uh, and it's it's about our favourite art form, which is the computer game. And it's an art form that doesn't always get the respect it deserves. So that's what this poem is about. Because it's got great potential to make the world a better place. Yeah, doesn't it though? Come on, guys. Uh, <laughs> awesome. Yeah, so, uh, 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 turn your attention to the screen for this motherfucker. Uh... Shall we go and stand next to the screen? Yeah. We can move. Jesus Christ. Is this going to feed back on the speaker? Oh, we, um, oh wait, I'm wired. Oh, shit. Oh. I think there's a wire. Oh. That's rock and roll! <laughs> yep. Woo. Yeah, one, two, two, yep. And are we going to rinse feed? I was halfway through saying that we're going to rinse really feedback problems. If we go down there, should we be okay? Let's find the fuck out, shall we? Yeah. Gonna be fine. Uh, you need to click back a few. <laughs> Massive spot. Okay, let's not stand near that fan. Right, this is harder than I expected, okay? You know what, right? There's a reason there's a stage, unless you use the bastard. Let's not just... Wait, have I just killed the screen? I don't know. No. I've got a cool. dead page. Okay, good. Right, here we go. Going back? What? No. no. Why? Are we not okay down here? Fair enough. Fair enough. Also, I'll like... well, look over there and ignore us. Yeah. Sometimes. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, guys. It's nice to have the support. That's, uh... In these difficult technical times. We're not competing with the screen. Yeah. You know, it's just sometimes the joke's going to be that way. Okay, here we go. A poem. <clears throat> Thank you. It's been ingrained that games are a waste of time. Like my mum said, the sun, Ed, don't play outside. And they say games make you violent, but that's not true. And if you say that again, I'll fatality you. <laughs> when TV came in, they said it rocks your brain. Before that, it was movies, and oh, they said the same. They thought your head would explode if you travelled by train, and that novels made women hysterically insane. Now we draw... Right, I'm just going to move down here. Okay. okay, we draw this link to the past to support our claim that our civilization will continue to change. And to you knights of the old republic, are you sure that yours is for just cause? Let me throw down the gauntlet. Yeah, take off the halo. We'll tell you something you've missed. I'm sorry, to rock the boat. <laughs> Come on, that's gold. That, that joke is gold. Come yeah. down here. Come over here. No. This is the stage now. <laughs> I, no one can see you, you're in the dark. It doesn't matter. That, that's what we're looking at. I'm fine, don't worry. Jamie <laughs> Cogger. Oh, you want a wire again? You want a wire again? Okay, okay, let's carry on with the thing. Wait, 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 you need to come here. I'm sorry to rock the boat, but then it's not like we fit. <laughs> here comes our counter strike. And I can't believe it's taken us so long. Because your arguments madden me. They're full of shit. <laughs> and frankly, they pawn. We grew up on a moorland, a wasteland, a sea of dead space. Trapped, home alone, apparently it was a game. I don't make the rules. 
We have no escape. I lived a half-life. And he lived a half-life too. Thank you. On a silent hill. With nothing to do. But we could run away to Super Mario. Open a portal to explore all the shadows of man. And that's our culture. The stories that gave us shelter. We made a fable out of Sonic. We made a legend of Zelda. <laughs> and as we sat waiting for our lives to load, we're going to come along here. Be, be part of the thing. <laughs> as we sat waiting for our lives to load, we made games for each other. We learned to code. And that had a mass effect on our social life. <laughs> Watching our doodles jump, that felt golden. Hi. <laughs> and those skills, they still help us with everyday tasks. Now we write comedy songs, yeah? This is Minecraft. <laughs> and we wrote this slideshow program for the pictures, which only occasionally, occasionally, occasionally glitches. <laughs> now, our society's a mess. Ex complicated these days. <laughs> oh, come on, that's brilliant. We've got kids growing up on streets of rage. They grow dark souls. That life's a gauntlet, man. Dodging oblivion, living on the borderlands. Our social attitudes still come from an age of empires. The average wage per girl is low. The average pay per boy is higher. <laughs> Underrated. We train our boys to be soldiers for a world of war. Whoa. Craft our girls to believe. <laughs> They've two choices. Witcher. <laughs> Witcher, princess and whore. Now, soon the computers will power everything. Through the sims in our phones. The sims, is three weeks. And with this rise of the robots, shit game, I had it, no one else did, there'll be a way out for those who code. Now the system tries to pack man into a box. But let's find a peaceful revolution before we try force. Now we are straight white cis males. We're mentally healthy and we're middle class. If we're entirely honest, we know we've had a free pass. And it's mostly people like us that we encourage to game and so to program. But the future's still the future, and it still belongs to no man. A woman, a person of non-binary gender. <laughs> exactly. I like, I like that you're getting a deeper message here. Uh, now, we old Game Boys. Yeah. They feel threatened as our hobby expands. Um, but if we accept more newcomers, Thank you. No, not for God's sake, that's fucking brilliant. If we accept more newcomers, it could be mega, man. And that's the final fantasy. But down, down to the last of us, we learn... I love that you guys are just cheering the games, not used to that. If we learn to play together, then the only way is up. Up, down, down, left, right, left, right, A, B. Uh, no pun Nintendo. <laughs> Cannot resist. Is this live? Yeah. Our next song is about role playing. Now, good, because you have to be careful these days. When you say role playing to most people, they think you're talking about this. We want to be clear that we're talking about Dungeons and Dragons. It's yeah. much cooler. Yeah. And it's also a very different kind of dungeon master. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> now, we, we're, we're big fans of roleplay games and D&D, but over the years, some of the monsters they've released in the Monster Manual kind of look like padding or something that seemed like a good idea at the time. And so this song's dedicated to them. We're going to bring you this song from our authoritative position. 
as level four bards. <laughs> and yes, there's going to be a lot of slides. <laughs> yeah, fuck those Greeks. Fuck, fucking Greeks. We can't hear anything anyone's saying, but yeah, you know, like, the, the heckles are appreciated nonetheless. <laughs> we are merry minstrels are traveling on tour. We defeated many hecklers while we're parts at level four. Friend. We could sing you songs of monsters that you thought were only myth. But this, this song tonight is all about the monsters for all. <laughs> the owl bear is mighty, its ferocity is renowned. You can't sneak attack an owl bear because its head turns right around. If you meet a roving mauler, cover up your eyes, because you don't want to see this bugger from the other side. <laughs> And the holder is an eye with eyes, it's deadly in a fight But it's easily defeated if you just turn out the light <laughs> A drow's an evil emo with blades along their arm And you don't even have to kill them, you just wait and they so far <laughs> It's an edgy joke a zombie fetus risen from the dead. It has no claws or teeth, but it can try and lick your head. A grain nymph is a sexy field. <laughs> so men will want to plow her. She's a nymph of grainy app. And when you're grinding, she makes flour. I think that was good enough to, uh, level up! <laughs> it's ridiculous. The giant space hamster may seem silly and surreal, but when they rule the universe, we'll all be stuck in wheels. So Gif, Gif has proved that at some point a man and hippo mated. Ironically, this picture is not a Gif, it is a gender. <laughs> I'm so glad you enjoyed that joke, but otherwise we would have had a tiff. I would have been pierced. The gelatinous cube is jelly, if that doesn't make you scared. Well then that's why they invented the gelatinous bear. It's a gummy bear. This topiary monster is a shrubbery so lush that it serves as a reminder that you ought to treat your bush. <laughs> I was dedicated to Alex. <laughs> the mimic is a chest, but they gave it some teeth, and now it tries to bite your face off. But Peter is a sword, but they gave it some teeth, and now it tries to bite your face off. The Peltas is a bag, but they gave it some teeth. The Death Lemon's a pillow, but they gave it some teeth. <laughs> the Flannel Beast is a flannel, but they gave it some teeth. <laughs> the Tooth Beast <laughs> is teeth, <laughs> and they gave it more teeth. <laughs> What's a toothpaste best friend? A canine! How's a toothpaste walk through swamps? Gum boots! <laughs> uh, just save me, carry on. <laughs> now you may think that these monsters suck and they could never harm ya. But they kill women all the time. Cause women don't wear armor.